First of all, flex. Stay still and be relaxed. You should already learn balance how to stay still. Because if you don't teach horse to be flexible and not to lean and not move hind course, when they're gonna start to mount, that's even much more dangerous. They're gonna start to move and gonna go sideways. So when I'm gonna put my leg in the stirrup and I'm gonna go sideways and pet her, use my leg, use my leg, bounce behind her back cinch with my leg, dismount, she's fine, beautiful. Good job, baby. You wanna smell this? Okay, all right. Let's step here for a sec. Okay, just stay here. You're a good girl, baby, you're a good girl. Hello guys, Russ Crouching here, and today we have in uh, two years old, she just turned uh, two years old months ago. Uh, it's a registered uh, quarter horse filly. Uh -huh. So her name Chica, you can find her page on my website and actually uh, learn about her pedigree. And it's a link there, you can click and go to all uh, breed pedigree website and see her uh, bloodlines and etc. So Chica, she's two years old and now she is one of my versatility horses in my educational program. So I would like to continue sharing with you how she's progressing. You can follow her education again on, on, on my YouTube channel. She, uh, she have her own playlist. And also uh, you can uh, watch her education on my website. So today it's actually we, we educate Chica uh, in the foundation program. So she accomplished uh, first level discover philosophy methodology round pen in hand communication, it's mean lunging develop confidence and, and solid mind and now she's ready to be educated to ride so this video actually about the first mounting uh, first time mounting the chica and i would like to show you all reality and see how much preparation and how much work involved uh, in the horse education so actually chica mentally will accept me with her emotion without falling apart accept me mentally first of all and physically then first of all i'm gonna mount the horse and horse gonna be relaxed so when we're gonna settle the chica in a big space like this she's emotionally have to be very relaxed because we've done so much preparation develop confidence old mind so any object and obstacles they're gonna put on her back and this big space she have to have a patience relaxa relaxation and stay still and why we first of all put in saddle and after we're gonna to start to apply in hand communication. Hand communication is actually lunging. Because we're not gonna mount her and I'm gonna to start to educate her to ride in this uh, arena. It's gonna be new object, this walls, banner, sign, fans, different doors. So she's gonna move around beside this object with saddle. So before I'm gonna ride her the first time, I have to develop confidence with saddle. So she have to change direction. When she's gonna, gonna change direction, stirrups gonna flop around her, her body, saddle gonna move. So she have to have a lot of confidence and relaxation when she's gonna travel around this arena, changing direction, travel on different speeds. Because when I'm gonna mount her and gonna start to ride, I prepare already her mental abilities so she can develop this confidence. So we're gonna put, first of all, saddle pad on Chica, she have to stay still, have a patience. So we're gonna put two saddle pads, like blanket on top because she's still young and we need little bit, little bit thickness here. So she have to stay still and have this patience and wait for me and have this relaxation. I can walk around Chica, she have to stay still and wait for me not run away, not walk around. So when I'm gonna put saddle on her, she also have to have patience and wait for me. And in our business, when we educate 
young horses and we actually proud of this we take long we take long time to educate horses to be that relaxed in this young age when we put in saddle so we're not just um, randomly put saddle on them and let them buck with the saddle and finally accept the object in the back so it's a lot of a lot of preparation a lot of preparation with steps and actually methods to develop horse emotions when we put in saddle on the first time and horse at this young age staying still like this and relax so we're gonna fix right here saddle pad go a little bit back very good sweetheart you're doing very good, proud of you. Very nice, baby. Very nice. So don't have to be afraid to walk around the horse. She have to have this patience also and confidence when horsemen walk around her. So in the first time when I cinch the young horses i'm not cinching them very tight so saddle will adjust just let me give you a second she smell because she out of balance right now so it's not a point to tie the cinch right here baby it's okay you find what you want okay so so after we're gonna when we're gonna start to work we're gonna adjust saddle and make it a bit tighter okay put back cinch and horse and she have to be very confident with that so that's a that's a goal when i put in saddle and young horse like that and in this young age animals staying impatiently waiting for me that's already confidence that's already communication that's involved relaxation it is not involved anxieties so it's going to be much easier for me after in the future to mount this animal because she already accepting the object without the fear so number one animal young animal like this have to understand speed control walk trot and lope and in hand communication it means in the lunch line and everything what we we're going to do right now in hand communication, horse learn from the discover philosophy methodology in round pair. Learn how to stay still. It's a stop and face. So now we're gonna actually specifically gonna ask Grace to stop and face us. And we're gonna apply many different exercises, final performance exercises, and stay still. And through this process of the exercise, we're gonna apply these exercises she have to stay still as a statue and respond to this consistently cue that's very important what i'm saying because it's developing a lot of patience in the horse brain confidence between horseman and horse again not halters not ropes forward motion and we're going to ask her stop and face right here right now i'm going to ask her fix your shoulders please right here and stay still or how to walk understand body language presence energy of the horseman voice command understand the trot and understand the lope Horse to understand speeds understand walk trot and lope because this mental abilities of the walk trot and lope i have to transfer the future education and in the final education that's going to be under saddle so some horses in our life they cannot control the pressure same like a people and if they cannot control emotions and pressure and fear on the ground absolutely they're not going to control emotions under saddle and we're going to so when he done very well on the walk we're going to ask him pick up the trot and again slowly do not just start to apply a lot of energy just slowly pick up and ask him to trot so when i ask him to trot and i stay in the middle he also have to travel on the trot around me consistently 
not lean inside, not lean outside. He have to continue travel around. Very nice, beautiful. We can slow down him a little bit and say that's a little bit slower right here. Beautiful. Don't speed up the <coughs> trot. And now our goal increase the energy and ask him pick up the lope again. Beautiful. And let him lope. Direction, speed. Direction, speed. So we develop a lot of relaxation and inconsistency in horse forward motion. So horse memorize mentally the speeds and be very consistent in the speed before we're going to mount the first time. So if she control emotion and then in, in hand communication in the lunge line, it's going to be much easier for her, first of all, round pen and second of all, in hand communication, it's going to be much easier for her to control emotions when I'm going to ride, ride her in the first time. So when I point, my animal have to step away from me and just walk, nice and relax. Beautiful. So I want to see chicken, and like you can see reality, sand, we just drag the sand. So we didn't warm her up, it's everything fresh right here right now. So you can see how she's gonna communicate with me. We're gonna take our time to warm her up so you can see her mental, abil uh, mental abilities, how she handles stress, and etc. Beautiful. So my voice command, very consistent. Walk, it's a trot, it's gonna be much faster. Clocking, and uh, lop, it's going to be, it, I'm gonna kiss. And change my body language, uh, my energy, and etc. So once she's been nice and relaxed, that's how we start the lesson. My horse listened to me, not in inside, not in outside, travel around me. All the time pay attention to her shoulders, if she, front shoulders, if she's, if she stop right here and bring nose inside, I immediately apply my voice command, my energy and said, Chica, please continue travel forward and don't stop. That's consistency, so I don't have to all the time go after her hips physically so she have to travel and never stop that's consistent and that's consistent so when i ask her to stop she stop face me 90 degrees change your shoulders right here stay still so when we done one side we have to accomplish exactly the same different side between this horse have to stay still and be relaxed very beautiful baby you're doing very good i'm very proud of you you're doing good. A lot of relaxation with young horses. Again, point. Energy, 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 energy. She went right here as I continue travel. Beautiful. Continue travel. So pay attention to the rope. Don't pay attention to the horse. <laughs> you pay attention to the horse also, but pay attention to the rope. If she truly understand travel around me or, or rope, very straight, I don't have a loop between me and horse, I pull in the rope, no, horse travel around me without pulling the rope, rope relax, so horse mentally understand the work, the next side. That's a lot of, a lot of repetitions, so we develop also in the forward motion right now, balance and coordination when horse travel in forward motion, beautiful, very nice, beautiful back. Very relaxed energy, very good, beautiful. I'm gonna talk a little bit and explain about Chica personality also. She's, a, she's cutting and reining cow horse bread and also reining bread. So she likes to stop a lot on her own and change direction, pay attention how she's gonna stop with her hindquarters through the, through the lesson, she, she uses a lot a lot of hind quarters. And again, stop right here. Stop and stay. Fix your shoulders energy. Right here. Step and stay still. Very nice. Relaxation. So when we teach horse stop and stay still, it's also patience and relaxation. We're teaching horse in young age. When horsemen stop and stay still, they have to stay still. So believe it or not, this education we actually will gonna transfer when I'm gonna mount her. She learn how to stay still. She learn how to develop this patience. Okay. 
So everything starts step by step by step and transfer and connect to, to each other. So all exercises connect so horse will develop this relaxation. Very good, baby. Change. Energy right here. Little bit more. Very nice, baby. Continue trial. So give young horses opportunity to understand what you want from them, not just apply a lot of energy and etc. So because we want to develop a lot of relaxation and, and the horse education. So now I'm going to ask you for a trot. So I'm going to increase my energy. Point and set continue travel, baby. That's what I want. Very nice. Point energy, energy. Beautiful. So I want to see this front shoulders moving forward. Pay attention to the rope. She's not pulling on me. She travel around me nice and relaxed. You see her personality, she wants to stop all the time. That's her breeding. She wants to stop and she wants to, she challenged me all the time. Okay, so that's a good thing because when you're gonna to start to teach her how to stop, it's she already, she already know that mother nature gives her that already. So again, point, very nice. So that's what I want to see, nice and soft, relax. When I'm saying soft, it's mean nice and relax, muscle in the horse, horse not upset, not nervous, and excel. And I'm gonna stop her right here, stop and stay still. You see how she's using hind quarters? Boom, and right away stop. So she's using a lot of hips on her own. So when we're working with young horses, we're learning all about this, okay? The horse natural know how to stop. If horse natural using this, uh, what mother nature gives her talent. But that's, that's very important to see that. Very good, baby. Relaxation, beautiful work. So change, change right here. Energy, 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 very good. So when you start to apply, when you start to apply new speed, you always start with previous speed. Why? Because we have to develop horse relaxation again. If I'm going to immediately start from the trot, I'm going to upset you immediately, right? So I'm sharing with you all this, um, all this information so when you purchase the chica, you know how she was educated. That's why we're spending so much time to put all the small details and share with you all information. But also you're welcome to come to our facilities and work with chica and understand how she was trained. And I was be, I'm going to be very happy to share with you my philosophy and my methods and work with you. Again, point. Pick up the speed, very good. She continue travel. Energy, very nice. Continue travel, beautiful work, baby. Very nice. More energy, more energy. Open up your shoulders, continue travel. Again, more energy, more energy. Very good, baby. That's what I want to see. Very nice. So I want to see all this nice, more, 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 more energy. Very good, baby. So I lean my shoulders towards your shoulders, my left shoulder towards your right shoulder, and set move forward. Okay, so just increase my torso towards her and set you have to travel forward. Very nice. Beautiful. And be consistent in this forward motion. Very good. More energy, more energy. Very nice. And stop right here. Beautiful. Stop and stay still. That's how she stopped. Boom. And she's staying still. So that's amazing. Amazing. A lot of horses, when they try to stop, they stop. And after they do a couple steps and they stop. So she natural using her hind course and stop. Beautiful work, baby. So now you're going to do exactly the same changing direction on the trot, changing direction, the trot, changing direction. Why I teach young horses to change direction and in hand communication? Well, first of all, horse have to understand my body language and voice command and energy, okay, and my cues, not because I'm pulling the rope. On the same time, I teach horse to use left brain and change to the right brain. From the right brain, change to the left brain. So horse using both brains immediately when horse work with me, you're not getting upset. A lot of horses when they're changing direction, most of the time when we teach young horses, they're changing direction, they're nervous, they start to pull back and etc. 
In the same time, we wear saddle, right? When we start to set, uh, lesson, I explained when we put in saddle, when horse change in direction, saddle moving around the horse back, stirrups flapping, and etc. So, horse get used to it, to change direction with object in their back. That's simple, okay? And in the same time, this exercise teach horse not to pull back because a lot of time when we lead horses, it wants to change direction, change direction. Horse is pulling back and they're very strong. They doesn't want to change direction. So a lot of changing direction teach horse to be very responsive to a cue with the horsemanship role. Continue travel. Very good. Stop. Changing direction, very good, baby. Continue travel. So don't just change and change and change. Just let her travel a little bit because you're gonna change a lot. Forward motion. Then they're gonna come confused. They're never gonna travel forward motion. They're gonna be like a yo-yo. They want to all the time change in direction. Again, travel forward. Change. So I want she's truly pay attention on my energy. She pay attention on my um, on my body language, not because I'm pulling on this rope. Stop, change, change. Very good, baby. Continue travel. So when she get you older, then you're gonna start to ask for more and for more and for more speed and much more much more uh, faster and excited. Well, the young horses, you have to take your time and not, not just make them ups upset and nervous because they have to develop footwork. They have to develop muscle memory and excited. It's not about the speed. That's about the quality right here. Continue travel. Very nice. Beautiful, baby. To develop this beautiful coordination of their feet, that's what, and brain, that's what all about. Very good, baby. Very nice. Change direction. Beautiful. So that's what I want to see, nice and relaxed. I'm going to stop her right here, stop and stay still. So when I release my horse in a big space, and not holding this rope, she have to wait for me. And again, for, that's from discover philosophy to don't jump and educate horse to stop and face, change in direction, talk to your friend, change the tools. In a bigger, bigger space, animal have to stay still and not lean towards you, not come to you all the time, not push you with their, their head. When you walk to animal, she have to patiently stay still not back away from you, not be nervous, not to snore, not go backwards. So that's a lot of education before we got to this point. I'm gonna stay still like this, patience and patience and patience. Very good, baby. I'm proud of you. Very good. So we're gonna type a little bit uh, cinch, a little bit more, because she already moved, so she can start to get used to, it, to this more. Beautiful. Again, that's a good result. That's a good answer. So horse not getting upset when you tie the cinch. Again, relaxation. Step back. Step back. Very good. So stay patiently. Wait for me. No travel forward. That's a patience right now. That's a relaxation right now. That's communication. Beautiful. Very good, baby. I'm proud of you. I'm very proud of you. So now we're gonna to start to take her in a trot. I like to apply this exercise around the perimeter, okay? Because I'm travel forward motion, that's a wall. That's a uh, narrow situation between me and wall. And young horses, when you start to teaching them, they try to all the time speed up and speed up. It's a new, for, uh, it's a <clears throat> new different door. Fan working right here, we have radio. We have different, especially in these corners, Horses falling apart in this big door, they're falling apart. Different horses staying outside. So she have to truly pay attention when I'm working with her. Okay, so it's, I'm taking this for to my advantage to teach her all that. So we're going to the left and we're going to the right. 
Okay? And we're going to practice this on the trot right now. So again, forward motion. Very good. Continue travel. And now. Continue travel. So when I travel with her, she have to travel with me and not to pull on my... She have to travel around me and not to pull on the rope. Very nice. That's what I want to see. So you pay attention. Pay attention to the rope when she working around me. If she's pay attention on this on this other door right now, she pull a little bit. Okay. So show you all reality how we teach young horses. So you can have idea how much time we spend in an animal before we get to this level. Very good. Well, I look in her ears right now and pay attention what she's doing, how she's controlling her emotions. She's looking at this fan, she's looking at this door, she's looking at this exit sign. Or she's just staying in this darker corner, nice and relaxed. And I'm going to just stay with her a little bit in this corner and said, can you come close to the wall and continue travel? I'm going to surprise her right now. I'm going to say, can you change direction? You see how she's changing with her hindquarters? That's just amazing, her talent. She's going all the way back to plain stylish. I don't want to put other horses' breeds down, but plain stylish, when I see horse papers on plain stylish on the horses, it's one of my, that's one of my favorite horses to work with. It's just my, my taste. Because they're so smart, so smart, so flexible on the body. That's very important for me. So flexible on the body. And they please you to work. They're never, they don't have this mean bone on them. They're not stubborn. Very, very easy to work. And very, very athletic. Beautiful. Like I said, you can go on her page and learn all her pedigree. And you're going to be surprised how well she bred. Very good, baby. So all this, you see, sometimes she pulling on the rope still, but she's still young. So I want she's truly traveling around me. Be nice, beautiful. That's what I want to see, baby. Very good. Surprise with his lob. If she's gonna lob, slow down and trot. Very good, baby. So like I throw in like this situation, my horses, if they truly pay attention and education, or they're just running because because they have to. I want my horse be listen to me and happy work with me. And it's, it's not all the time the same and the same and the same routine. When you teach, it's all the same. But after you just mix it up, everything, and it's, for horse, it's much easier to work with you because it's a different. It's not boring all the time the same. Right here, beautiful. Continue travel. Very nice, baby. I'm proud of you. You're my best. Very good, baby. So you see, she's a little bit, when she's going outside, she's pulling a little bit, but that's okay, she learned it. This sign right here, right now, right here, banner, so she have to be comfortable with this. Another fan working right here, right now, create a lot of noise, so she have to be fine, fine with it. So I'm gonna say change direction, more energy, right here, give her opportunity, right here, pick up the speed, very nice. Then we're going to go opposite direction. Beautiful. Continue travel. Beautiful, baby. Very nice. You see, like I'm saying, between the wall and horsemen, they're a little bit speed up, right? So, and this is a young age. So you have to teach them more and more and more this. And everything what we accomplish in arena, 
in the in the future videos you're gonna see we're gonna accomplish everything outside because it's not just working in the building very good very nice more energy now she slow down a little bit very nice beautiful work baby very nice continue travel very nice so that's what she using saddle right now and she travel around me so i want to see this relaxation i'm never going to mount the horse in the first time then i don't see that relaxation and horse i never I better say it like this i never take a chances in my life i want horse to be very comfortable very relaxed with saddle in the forward motion then i know she's not gonna very up or back or go sideways on me very nice baby continue travel beautiful work very nice continue travel more energy right here very good baby more energy and I'm gonna stop her right here right now. You see how she stopped again? Hindquarters go under her. She stopped, beautiful. So I just, I remind you all the times and repeat this because I want you to truly see her physics, how talented she is. Why I stop her right here right now? Because we're having different horses outside. It's a different paddocks there. It's a mother nature behind her. It's a big door. It's a difference, different object. So horse have to understand to stay still and be relaxed. If somebody moving behind, other horses running, or it's uh, mother nature moving there. And I do this horses a lot. I stop in horse right here, right here, right here in the middle. When I release, they have to stay still. So I teach them control emotion so they don't have anxiety. Before I'm gonna mount the horse today in the first time. So we doing a lot of a lot of preparation to teach horse have a lot of relaxation very good baby